Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to have a fun show today. Uh, Terrence Crawford again. Um, this time, he's calling out Jamal Cholo. We'll talk about Jamal Cholo fight. We're going to get into all that. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, with quick hits. Uh, please follow us, like I said, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Also, um, Please follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So uh, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, guys, let's get into today's show. So um, obviously, uh, Terrence Crawford had a big showing. Uh, stopped David Avenisian in front of 14,000 uh, pay per view buys, uh, 14,000 people went on and uh, what that fight. Um, and now he's, uh, talking about fighting Jamel Charlo. Um, if you guys think he's going to fight Jamel Charlo, I got a bridge to sell you in Arizona. Um, is that how that goes? I got beachfront property to sell you in Arizona. However that saying goes, um, obviously he's not going to fight anyone like Jamel Charlo. He, he doesn't fight guys like that. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't fight guys at that level. Right? I mean, he, he fights David Avenisian. He, he's got one quality opponent, Sean Porter. Uh, and, and if you guys want to say, you know, they don't want to fight him, Sean Porter was his man, so he had to fight Sean Porter. The fight got made. So that tell, it didn't go to purse bids. They just agreed to terms and made the fight. So that tells me the fights can get made. What we don't see is him fighting anyone else. Now, he, if he wanted to keep his belt, he had to fight Sean Porter, so the fight got made. No fuss, no must, no purpose. They just agreed to terms. That tells me that he can agree to terms with any PBC fighter when he was with top rank. And he didn't. And he's not with top rank now. So he could agree to any fight. And he didn't. Look, the fight with Spence fell through, and we can go over the reason. Maybe it was a good reason. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not here to debate that. He fought David Avenusian. He didn't have to go that far down the rabbit hole to find an opponent. He could have fought Keith Thurman. He could have fought Bujinas. He could have fought Virgil Ortiz. He could have fought Speedy Ellis. He could have fought Alex Roca. He could have fought a lot of guys. Right? I just get Alexis Roca, Speedy Ellis, Virgil Ortiz, Bujinas. One of those upstarts. He could have fought Keith Thurman. He could have fought a lot of guys. He didn't have to go that far down the rabbit hole. But he did. Because that's the type of guys he fights. That's who, that's who Terrence Crawford fights. And it's a shame, too, because T- Terrence Crawford is... Nearly a perfect fighter. And I, that's a shame. I, it's a shame that this is who he fights. But it's not it, It's not going to change. He went from Spence falling out to fighting David Avenisian. Come on, guys. Sergey Lipinets. Lipinets gladly would have went up to 147 to fight him. Fight David Avenisian. He's not going to go to 154 and fight the, the, the baddest guy in, in 154, at 154. It's not going to happen. If he goes to one with the boys, he's gonna fight Josh Kelly. He's gonna to try to get in a mandatory position. He's gonna to try to hope that one, you know, one of the organizations strips Crawford of his belt, and he's gonna to try to fight for. Uh, he's gonna, I'm sorry, gonna trip, strip Charlo of his belt, right? Because he's gonna make all these mandatories. Who wants to do that? Just like Josh Taylor, he's probably gonna have a belt or two stripped from him. He's not gonna, I mean, the, the, the idea that Terrence Crawford's going to fight Jamel Chalo is laughable, right? He hadn't fought. He's been at welterweight for five years. Who's he fought? Sean Porter and a bunch of people. Amir Khan, David Benavides, uh, Jose Benavides, right? Kel Brook. He fights a mean machine. But this is who he fights. He fights once a year and he fights nobodies or shot fighters. He's only fought one good fighter in, in his five year. Rain as a welterweight. 
he's gonna fight he's gonna fight Jamel Charles. Get out of here, right? Like there's this zero percent chance he's gonna fight Jamel Charles. And again, that's a shame. Because he might could win that fight. Who knows? Right? Like he's that good of a fighter. He fights. I call him Kawhi Leonard of boxing. Like he's so talented. He's so good at everything. Like he's so such a complete talent. But we don't ever get to see him like Kawhi Leonard. When we do get to see Kawhi Leonard, he he wins NBA championships. When we get to see Terrence Crawford, he fights David Abadisian. <laughs> you know, Jamel Charlo has a fight with Tim Zoo. It's a good fight. It's a good fight. I, I think Charlo wins it. I think Charlo's the best guy in the division, so I think he wins that fight, but it's a good fight. If you think after he fights, and that's in January, if you think after that, Crawford's going to fight him. <laughs> he's going to fight Josh Kelly, man. Right? Like, like <laughs> That's who he's going to fight. He's going to fight pretty boy Josh Kelly. Right? That, that's, a, that's a Terrence Crawford move. I'm going to fight Josh Kelly. Right? I mean, but this is who he fights. And you guys would laugh, but you know it's true. Like, you know... Dang well, he's not gonna fight uh, Jamel Charlo. No, he wouldn't fight Thurman. He wouldn't fight Keith Thurman. He wouldn't fight Boots Enos. He's gonna go up to one fifty four and fight a guy bigger than him, who's a pound for pound cat. No, he's not. Like, this, why are we even being ridiculous, right? I, David Adesian, um stopped Josh Kelly in six rounds back in twenty twenty one. Early 2021, so about almost two years ago, at Wembley, um, it was a fight that Kelly was winning all the rounds, but he was getting broken down, and eventually, you know, Evanese destroyed him. That guy, Josh Kelly, now went up to 54. He's run off a couple of wins at 54. Um, he's got a win over Troy Williamson. You know, he's a domestic level fighter. He's a British level fighter. That's the kind of guy Terence Crawford fights. Terrence Crawford doesn't fight Jamal Chalo. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, can we stop being ridiculous? Um, but let me know what you guys think. You know, and, and in response to this, Chalo kind of said um, what I said. He, he said um, he ain't even trying to fight nobody, which is true. He fights once a year, and he fights washed up guys, or he fights nobodies. That's where we are at Spot Boxing. And Terrence Crawford is an incredible talent, an incredible fighter, an incredible gifted fighter. Like, what part of Terrence Crawford's game does he have to change? Nothing. He's pretty complete. He's a two-fisted fighter, power, speed, pinpoint accuracy, excellent timing, can control you with the jab, can get in and out on you, can stand in and bang with you if he wants. So like he can do anything he wants with you. Um, but he decides to fight. Mean Machine and David Evanesian and fight Kell Brook and fight Amir Khan and fight once a year and that's it. So it, it's not really worth my time or, or to even entertain the idea that he could fight Jamal Cholo. It's not going to happen. He's not even trying to fight nobody. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick hit. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you every day. 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. It is December 14th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.